Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, I want to do my best 11 of the season for Europe with the twist. And the twist is that I can only pick one player for each team in the 11. So that way, I could diversify myself. And, you know, there's a lot of other players that deserve to be here. It's not just like an entirely EPL or entirely La Liga or entirely Bundesliga, you know? So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So if you guys want to do this, I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to do this and yeah we're gonna go ahead and get started man we're gonna go ahead and get started so let's start with goalkeeper goalkeeper for me it was definitely a definitely very interesting one there's a lot of players you can go for in goal you know you can go for the likes of allison you can go for the likes of um lunin courtois um you can go for those guys i decided to go with sommer because i think sommer for me has been inters one of inters best players you could also argue marcus Turam as well borella bastoni chalanahu but I feel like Sommer for me is the best. Uh, I feel like Sommer for me is a good goalkeeper pick. Right uh, left back, I decided to go for is going to be um, I did, I just got Grimaldo. Grimaldo for me was the uh, uh, obvious pick. I mean, he's been one of Leverkusen's best players. You know, I could have also gone with Vardio, Perlamendi. Those two were in consideration, but I think you got to get a Leverkusen player in there, and I think he's the best shout. Best shout. Center backs, I decided to go with Saliba. Saliba, for me, has been um, one of Arsenal's best players this season. He's been so influential at the back, so you got to put him in there. And the other center back is, now, this is a very interesting one. I'm, I'm not, This might be a very unpopular pick. I'm going to go with Bremer from Juventus. You know, Juve, even though they've been not been great this season, defensively, they've been pretty solid. So I think you got to put a, a Juve player in there. Um, and, yeah, and then left back for me, sorry, right back, I'll go with Jan Gotto. Um, I think he's been one of Girona's best players, so you got to put him in there. He's been fantastic, and yeah. Uh, CDM, um, and then other considerations for uh, the center backs, you could have gone with Rudiger. Uh, you could also probably have gone with um, Araujo um, and these other players, but, you know, I, I feel like those two ones I picked with justify. Uh, right back aside with Koto because right backs is pretty tough. There's not a lot of good right backs. Uh, you know, the other ones consideration are maybe like Walker, Although I don't think Walker's been that great this season, um, you could also go for Gusto, but I, I, I think I, I think it's fair to say that uh, uh, Koto, I think Koto's probably better than Gusto, but that you know that that that's kind of debatable. But I, I have a, I'm gonna be saving my uh, Gu, uh, Chelsea pick later. So CDM is gonna be Rodri, Rodri, one hundred percent for me. He's still one of the best DMs in the world uh, this season. You know he's he had an insane streak of not losing a game until the FA Cup final. Um, you could also, uh, is there anyone else? I don't think so. There's no other good DM. Maybe Rice. I already got my Arsenal one. So, yeah, I think that's fair. Okay, my other center mid I'm going to go for is, um, who is my other center mid going to be? Oh, my other center mid is going to be Alexis McAllister. I think McAllister, for me, has been one of Liverpool's best players. Even though Liverpool this season haven't been that great, I still think McAllister, for me, deserves to be on here. Um, and then the other center mid is going to be Bettina. I got to get a, I got to get a PSG rep. I got to get a league on representative. And even though let's be real, um, you know, I gotta, I gotta get a league one player in there somehow league on. So, and I'm not going to put Mbappe in my 11. So that's why I got to put Bettina there. I think he's been one of PSG's best players this season. And yeah, um, Kane, is, uh, let's go from here. Vinicius for me is one of the best players in the world right now. And for me, he is the best player. And for me, he should win the Ballon d'Or, uh, in my personal opinion. So I'm going to put Vinny on the left. Uh, there's no one else. There's other players, but for me, Vinny is the standard. you got to put Vinny in the 11. Kane. Kane, for me, he's the most informed striker right now in the world. Uh, then my my I'm going to put my Cole Palmer here. Cole Palmer on the right wing as my Chelsea candidate. So... I mean, looking at this 11 here, guys, we got one Ligue 1 player, we got two Serie A players, and one Bundesliga player, so that's four. Uh, sorry, two Bundesliga, because we got Kane and Grimaldo. Uh, then EPL, we got McAllister, Rodri, Palmer, uh, then we got four EPL, and I think we got, how many La Liga? One, two, one, two. Two La Liga, so... Yeah, as you can see, man, it's a very, very, uh, very diversified. You know, I pick four. So four, two, two, and then two, and then one. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's a good 11, man. It's a good 11. I think I'm, I'm fairly happy with this 11. So, you know, um, I could have also gone for, um, what is it called? Lemin Yamal, but I think Palmer's been better than Yamal this season. I mean, I mean, look at the amount of goals he scored for 
Chelsea. You got to put him in the 11. And yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Uh, this is a very fun video to do. And I want you guys to do the same in the comments below. And what changes we would make to your 11. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Please remember to like and subscribe. And peace.